From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Two areas in the tropics. We are watching this one here. As of right now, low chance of further development as it does move a little bit closer towards the southeastern coast. So the moisture will probably increase, especially as we head into the weekend. But as of right now, low chance for that to develop into a named system. This area, though, higher chance it could develop into a named system as early as the middle of this week. So this will be an area we'll watch. If it does become a named, become a named storm, it'll be called Alberto. So here is the forecast, at least the spaghetti models for that particular system. Notice it's going to stay basically pushing towards Mexico, regardless of further development, expecting a lot of rainfall there as it does interact with land. The Atlantic hurricane season started June 1st, at least officially here are the names. Alberto would be our first name storm if that area in the Gulf of Mexico does get a little bit better developed. Hurricane season, very long season. It continues through November 30th. The peak is September 10th with most activity occurring between mid-August and mid-October. So we do expect it to be a very busy hurricane season, but so far we haven't had any named storms as of yet. As far as our forecast is concerned, we're looking at some dry weather. We're also expecting grass pollen to be in this medium range today and tomorrow. So now we've kind of transitioned more into the grass pollen. That'll be the case until we get into later in the summer and early parts of fall when it'll become more of the weeds. But as of right now, grass pollen. A few clouds is going to be hot. Little chance for much in the way of rainfall, and we talked about this earlier. We are tracking the tropics. 98 degrees on Saturday. It was 94 yesterday. We did get a little bit of rain on Saturday, one one hundredth of an inch. A few other areas got a little bit more. Not expecting any kind of organized rainfall for today, but you'll notice a pop-up shower, thunderstorm may be possible in the upstate of South Carolina. If you were to kind of squeeze out a little bit of rain, just consider yourself lucky at this point because it is expected to remain pretty dry. Good bit of sunshine on Tuesday. We'll have a few more clouds, it looks like, on Wednesday. We'll call it partly cloudy conditions, but once again, we're still expecting basically dry conditions until maybe over the weekend when those rain chances increase just a touch. Anywhere from a tenth to maybe a trace of rain for the Palmetto State over the next seven days, so pretty dry conditions. Temperature-wise, upper 80s, low 90s today. A little bit of a breeze out of the east at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy with lows in the mid to upper 60s, so that's a little bit closer to normal. European forecast models indicating that moisture will increase over the weekend. GFS, or the American model, showing that increase in moisture as well over the weekend. So we do expect the chances for rain to kind of increase a little bit. It'll kind of be a summertime-like pattern. Otherwise, really just hot, humid, with air temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. Heat index values probably in the triple digits over the weekend. Today, upper 80s, low 90s. Probably the case Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then as we do look ahead towards Friday and the weekend, things start to kind of heat up for us here across the Midlands. Forecast from Myrtle Beach, a few isolated showers and storms Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Charleston, basically that same forecast with things heating up into the lower 90s. Middle 90s for Greenville, Saturday and Sunday. Maybe a small chance for a pop-up shower or thunderstorm for the second half of the weekend. Does look like it'll be warmer than normal. June 24th through the last day of June. And as far as rain's concerned, a small chance for looks like above average rainfall.